In under nine months, the 22nd Commonwealth Games will get underway in the English city of Birmingham. The Games button is already being paraded following a flag off by Queen Elizabeth on the 7th of October at Buckingham Palace. The button has already made a stopover in West Africa and is expected in Uganda on 4th November, Thursday. We're the ninth country uh, to receive it uh, uh, across all the 72 countries and nations that, and territories that it will be travelling around. And I'm delighted to be taking part in this baton relay ahead of Birmingham in the UK hosting the Games next August and next summer. The relay baton has significant meaning as explained by the Deputy British High Commissioner, Louise Ellis. It's the traditional curtain raiser for the Games. And it began its journey back in the UK on the 7th of October when the, Her Majesty the Queen, as head of the Commonwealth, put a message in the baton. And that baton gets taken all across the Commonwealth. A detailed programme has already been stitched together for the Ugandan leg of the baton relay. We shall be visiting the State House to meet the First Lady and our Minister of Education and Sports, uh, Her Excellency Janet Carter Hamseveni. From there, we'll go to Parliament from Parliament will then have a series of uh, events, both I believe here and at National Council of Sports. We'll then be able to, on Friday, visit a number of urban refugees. Uganda has a rich history in the sporting event, winning 53 medals across 15 games. But with the Commonwealth, we have a rich history of taking one very big teams, over 60 to 70, whereas in the Olympics we take about 25. We have a very rich podium performance history at the Gold Coast in Australia. We did quite well, and I think coming fourth uh, or sixth overall in Africa. And we did in terms of the, uh, the, the medal count. So we'd like to take this opportunity also to showcase what Uganda has to offer to the world. We